Today I'm going to talk about the single most important page on your website, the home page, and how to design the perfect home page. So stay tuned. All right, the home page on your website is the single most important page. Most people are going to see your home page first. So it's important to design this page correctly. So today I'm going to share with you my top 12 design tips. All right, number one, the navigation section. Uh, first, your logo needs to be sized correctly, not too big and not too tiny. And a logo should not be too complicated. A simple design works best. Number, uh, we're still on number one, but I want to talk about your menu. Your menu should be simple with no more than two words. Single words are much better. Uh, about, services, contact, blog, products. There is no need to have menu items that say about our company or our tremendous services. So just keep it simple. People are going to understand what these are. Also, having a hamburger menu on desktop computers. That's a no-no. That is reserved for mobile devices. A desktop or a laptop computer has plenty of room to show the entire menu at the top. No side menus either. People expect to see navigation to your other pages horizontally at the top, so that's where they should be. All right, you need to have contact information in your header or on top of your header. This can be in the form of a big red button that says contact us or book session or something similar. It has been shown in testing that having a red colored button attracts more attention than other colors. You should also have your phone number at the top. All right, we get to number two, the main headline. This is also called an H1 or header one. The, this text has a large font and is the first piece of text that a visitor reads. Those words that are contained in this headline are very important. It needs to convey what your website is about to your visitors and search engine. So you can see here in the example, SOD installation St. Louis. I can't count how many times I've seen client websites that say, welcome to blank company or whatever company for their main headline. Many clients want to use only their business name in the headline. This is not what you want. For a local business, you want to use your main keyword plus your city and your headline. For example, <clears throat> best plumber in El Paso, or like here, sod installation St. Louis. It's really simple, but many business owners get this wrong. Okay, next, your hero image. This is a large image under your header, usually with your H1 overlaid on top. You want a nice clear photo or image depicting what you do. So if you do sod installation, you want to see a nice green lawn like you see here. If you're a lawyer, you want to see a picture related to attorneys and maybe some law books. If you have a martial arts school, people expect to see a martial artist. So don't overthink this. If you don't have a good photo of your business activities, use photo websites such as Pexels, Pixabay, Unsplash. These and others are good sources of free stock photos. All right, have some call to action buttons or CTA. 
A website needs to have a clear call to action throughout your home page. When you introduce a topic, a service, or a product, include a call to action. This could be a link to your contact page, phone number, a landing page with an offer, or another page that explains the topic further. And you can use different types of language, like on the example here, they have one that says, let's talk. It probably goes to their phone number. All right, next, number five, colors. Your color palette should complement your logo or business type. Colors can either make or break your design. And color can be a key factor in how a visitor perceives your brand. It can impact how long they stay on your website and whether they buy from you. It's generally accepted you should use four to five colors that complement each other. Now there's a website called Coolers or Colors. I don't know how it's pronounced. It's C-O-O-L-O-R-S. I'll leave a link in the description. They have a cool color scheme generator that can help you out. So you may want to check that out. All right, number six, showcase your products or services. Now, have a section on your homepage where you showcase some of your best services or products with a heading, small amount of text, and a link for more information to a page on your website. So if you have services, whatever they are, you should have a separate page for each service that you do. You're going to outline your top services, they could be like three, six, eight. To top ones, uh, you're going to have a heading, some text, and then read more, like you see here, that goes to a page that further explains what these services are. You do the same thing with products. If you have some products, include some of your products, not all of them, out here on your home page with links to the product themselves. All right, seven, photos that mean something. It's okay to use some stock photos on your site, but sometimes showing what you do best is done with real photos. For example, if you are a landscaper, you want to show off your best landscaping pictures, maybe even before and after photos. So having a portfolio could make a difference in selling your services. All right, number eight, trust badges. Show what other companies and websites are saying about your business and your website. Trust badges will instill trust for potential customers by seeing your Better Business Bureau logo, a best-in-class badge, or other awards your company may have received. Number nine, reviews and testimonials. Including reviews and testimonials on your page will help sell your products and services much more than you just saying you do great work. It leads others to believe that you are trustworthy, believable, and credible. Having five-star reviews, like you see here, is incredibly helpful. All right, number 10, frequently asked questions. You want to have a section on your home page that does two things. First, answering the most frequent questions that people ask about your products and services. This gives you a leg up on the competition because many of your competitors don't have FAQs on their site. Second, FAQ sets you up as being an authority on your subject matter and it improves your SEO by including some keywords you're trying to rank for. Number 11, contact information. Make it easy for visitors to contact you. Yes, you should have a separate contact page on your site, but also include your contact information, especially 
your phone number on the home page. I already talked about having some of your contact information in or above the header, but also included in the footer, the name, address, and phone number. Uh, or you can embed a Google map at the bottom of your home page or in the footer, so it comes out on every page. All right, finally, thanks for staying to the end. Number 12, content. I actually saved the best and most important part of your website last so you will remember it. Your homepage content, the words on your page, is very important to users and search engines. If you're not a good writer, hire a good content writer to convey your message with just the right amount of keywords sprinkled inside. Now, what you want to do is avoid thin content. What this means is content that offers little or no value to your visitor. With thin content, visitors won't hang around your website and leave. We call that bounce rate and you just lost a customer. See what your competitor websites are writing and how much. Don't copy them, just do it better than they are. So if you need help with your web design or SEO, reach out to Blue Lacy SEO. Our contact information will also be in the description. Press the like button and subscribe. And everyone be blessed. And I'll see you next time.